Hey, I am brother or sister. Ya hope us too, my bra. I told you. There's flood that through. Ya vet. Tech good for N and Doug. But I also know you probably don't speak Swedish. And this place is a mess from my work here today in the kitchen. So I'm going to do a little video editing and get to a more comfortable position where I can discuss proper food substitutions for anyone interested in developing more conscious food habits. Tack igen för visat intresse. Alla rättigheter för behållna. It is my understanding that this will be perceived as intuitionally correct when corresponded to the pure food consciousness I have described in previous videos. What do I mean by food substitutions, and why do I feel it's important we learn about it? In understanding true health, I also understand that you have to discover your own true health, and it will not be the same as my true health. You're starting with a different slate and adding different variables. Understanding that, I feel the best way to help guide others towards true health is simply to describe the discoveries and the perspectives that I've had to accept as truth in hopes others can correlate that to their own experience and start making more conscious efforts in their own dietary choices. It has been confirmed by experiments on rats that adjusting dairy intake from 5% to 20% and back to 5%, we were literally able to watch cancer tumors grow and shrink by our control of the percentage of dairy. I do maintain my dairy at 5%. A lot of people get overwhelmed by what that even means based on the percentage. Some suggestions I would like to make to help reduce your dairy are don't buy it on the grocery order. All of the products that you're used to consuming that have dairy in them are available in non-dairy options. If you don't buy it on the grocery order and you don't take it in the house, you can't eat it. When you go out to a restaurant, if you want to have dairy then, you will enjoy it more because you don't have it at home. You'll still be getting to eat it, meaning you're not quitting it, but you're being more responsible about your consumption. Another concern I have when it comes to consuming dairy is the hormones. And although obviously males and females both have hormones, the large portion of my concern is for the females. There are many cases where women solved issues of infertility by adjusting the dairy in their diet. There is a lot of extra hormones in a cow that we are taking in by consuming large amounts of dairy. It does have an effect on your hormones, especially if you're a woman. By reducing my dairy to 5% of my intake, simply meaning never buying it on the grocery order, but allowing myself to have it here and there while I am out, I have, without a doubt, had less bloating, clearer skin, I'm not feeling as sluggish, and when I do go back to having dairy commonly now, it tends to make me very gassy, very bloated, and I don't want large amounts of dairy. If I have yogurt with some fruit and nuts in it as a dessert, that's enough dairy. If I'm out and I want to have uh, a slice of veggie pizza, that dairy is enough. You may think, well, I don't want to get gassy every time I have dairy. But that is your body trying to tell you something. By allowing myself to get to a degree where it does do that to me, well, it helps me keep my dairy at 5%. By accepting the facts I learned about dairy and applying them to my life, I don't feel like I missed the dairy because I didn't quit it, but I'm eating it more responsibly. I understand it better now and I can enjoy it more. Oh! I'm not beating up the dairy industry. Once again, this is not a dictation, but an explanation of a pure food consciousness that I have developed over a course of 15 years. 
It is largely understood that the pesticides and things used on our vegetables are closely connected to major health concerns. There is a lot of food-like products on the market. They're not really giving us what our bodies need, but they're keeping us alive. When it comes to your digestive system, if you don't give it exactly what it wants, well, it's waste. There is a lot of food going in and just coming out as waste. A lot of people are not getting the nutrients that they feel they may be getting because of their digestion health and the food-like products. A great portion of the population has normalized consumption of these food-like products. I have reason to believe with the longevity of the consumption of food-like products, we have been doing damage to our digestive system on a mass scale and not realizing it. These are some of the reasons I feel it's important that we learn about food substitutions in modern times. When it comes to the substitutions, you can't put too much pressure on yourself. It took me years to progress to a degree that I was happy with. You can't quit it all and do it all at once and you won't, but you pick away at it. Here are some suggestions for substitutions. One of the things that is most important that we learn substitutions for is our meat products. Certain meats are healthier than other meats and the ones that are unhealthy are very unhealthy. The ones that are healthy can be very healthy. Yeah, at the Inyet Shet. And I haven't in a long time. Some meat substitutions I found useful was, instead of using cubes chicken, I would make the recipe exactly the same, but substitute the chicken for whole cremini mushrooms. Sometimes I could replace Hamburg with black beans. Sometimes I would make the exact same meal and just leave the meat out. I would greatly suggest replacing white bread and bleached flour breads with a whole grain bread. There's a lot of really healthy, great breads on the market. There is a lot of junk on the market and you need to be aware. So just like the dairy, enjoy it, but not too much. Just like the dairy, if you don't buy it on the grocery order, but you allow yourself to have white breads and other things you enjoy while you're out, you can't eat it when you're home. And when you're home, you'll be making the right choice for your body. As mentioned in the beginning, there are no products I used to consume that had dairy in them that I no longer consume. I have cream cheese and cheese and milk and butter and all of the things that you're afraid of losing. Again, not quitting, just substituting. When you substitute in the new food, it's not going to taste like the old food because it's not the old food, but it's a healthier new version that once you get used to it, you'll be glad you did. Ya viat dat ya har mikiat dat seya ya obskrete vel klien de tid. I hope those are some thoughts that help somebody out there today that's trying to develop their own true health. It is my understanding that true health is comprised of a personal balance of mental, physical, and spiritual health. I do encourage all human beings to strive for their own degree of true health, because as far as I know, woman wrongs I wish to helping our newly, Yishu Buhwe, Danyu and Rusa, Perogeno. Sana mai magsabi sa akin. But with that said, ya musto go takien fro visa at interesse at o go to vera positive flio do shalik terala tak gudian endio yotora ingat.